You know I love E6000, except for the fact that it chows down on styrofoam. So what can you use instead? How about another one of my favorites? Hi, I'm Lori, this is Maker High, and today we're going to talk about Gorilla Glue, which is a moisture activated polyurethane, or in other words, freaking strong glue. This is kind of a long video, so here are the sections I'm going to be covering with the time codes, hopefully if I remember to put them in. Uh, if you want to jump ahead, feel free, I do not mind. Now, just to clarify, there are a ton of Gorilla brand adhesive products. This video is just about the original and the clear formulas. They also make a white one. It's basically the same as the clear. It just dries white and including it seemed kind of redundant. So every time I talk about the clear, same thing applies to the white. Just like E6000, this is waterproof. You can use it indoors and outdoors. It has a really wide temperature range and it's paintable. But it's also stainable, sandable, sawable, and drillable, which is why people use it for woodworking a lot. Some of the other things you can use it on are stone, metal, ceramic, glass, concrete, and obviously my favorite, styrofoam. So here's the main difference between the glues. The clear dries in half the time, which is great, but as you can see here, it bubbles up way more than the original one does, so it adheres to less of the surface area. While it's faster, in my opinion, I tend to go with the original because I think it's a stronger bond. On to the main event, how do you use it? So the first thing you're going to want to do is prep your surface. You want to make sure it's clean, that there isn't any dust on it, and that the pieces that you're gluing together are relatively tight fitting. Then you're lightly going to dampen one or both sides with water. You can use a damp cloth, a spray bottle, or a sponge. Just don't soak the surface. For dense hardwoods, you're going to want to do both sides, but most everything else, just one. For smooth and shiny surfaces like metal, glass, plastic, I suggest roughing it up with some sandpaper first just to make the adhesion a little bit easier. Next, you're carefully and evenly going to apply the glue onto the dry surface or from above on the damp surfaces. And just make sure the tip of your bottle doesn't hit the moisture. Another thing to remember is that this expands up to three times its volume, so don't over apply. Now you want to clamp or press the two surfaces together tightly. If you don't have clamps, I have suggestions at the end for other things you can use. If you want to use a paper towel to wipe off excess that's bleeding through, now is a great time. Here it is after 30 minutes, and here it is after two hours. I usually like to let my glues cure for 24 hours, but I wanted to show you how strong it really is with just the minimum recommended time. And now my favorite use for this, styrofoam. It is so hard to find something that not only works well, but is inexpensive when it comes to styrofoam. Notice that I am applying the glue to the dry side and then pressing the moist piece down on top of it. You'll notice I didn't spread the glue out to the edges, which is why they're ripping up so easily, but you can see where the glue is applied, it's not coming up at all. Here I am pulling the two pieces apart with a lot of leverage and it still holds tight. The styrofoam is ripping before the glue is. This is my go-to for styrofoam props. I love this and it's great that you can use it indoor or outdoor. This cap is designed to be open and closed with one hand. If you don't have a clamp, you can press down from the top of the item with books or other heavy objects like this jar of jam from my friend Emily. Uh, you can also use tape or rubber bands as a temporary clamp just depending what you're gluing together. If you've wiped off your glue and you still have excess coming out, Wait about an hour and then you can use an X-Acto to trim it or a chisel to chip it off. And don't worry, the dried glue is not going to damage your tools. Do not press the bottle directly against the moist surface. Some moisture might get sucked back up into the bottle and it will contaminate the entire thing. It'll harden in a couple of hours. And honestly, I suggest buying the smallest bottle you think you're going to need just to be on the safe side. One of the features they've added the last couple of years is that there's actually a pin in the cap to help keep moisture out of it while you're storing it. I also like to squeeze the air out before screwing the cap on. 
Now you want to close the cap until it clicks like you hear here. That should help cut down on any moisture from the air and as always store it in a cool dry place. This glue has a really low viscosity so make sure you use it on a flat surface or it's going to run everywhere. If you live someplace damp or humid and you're having a problem getting the glue to work, try not adding as much moisture and see if that helps. There could be moisture in the air that's oversaturating it. Use gloves. This stuff will definitely stick to your skin. In some people it can actually cause a rash. Let's avoid all that. Make sure you cover yourself and your work surface with things you don't care about getting this on because it's never coming off. Keep this out of the reach of children and pets. If someone ingests this, call 911 immediately. If you can't get through, call poison control. Get medical attention. This is not meant to be used internally. Some people use a respirator with this. I don't. I just make sure I use this in a really well ventilated area. Now I'm just going to put up the other precautions that are on the bottle and you can pause and read these if you're interested. You can buy this at almost any retail store. It's kind of crazy. You can find it at Walmart, Target, Fred Meyer. The picture I showed earlier I took at a Target. Home improvement stores like Home Depot and Lowe's, craft and hobby stores like Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. And I've even seen this at places like CVS and Office Depot. For the two ounce bottle, the MSRP on this is $6.99. You can definitely find it cheaper than that. So that's it for this video. If you have a glue that you really like on styrofoam, let me know what it is in the comments below, especially if it's inexpensive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with people so that they can join in on making stuff as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.